You like my slippers, don't you? Can't blame you. So good morning to all you fine people out there. It's Friday, the Friday before a long weekend. At least I'm pretty sure it's a long weekend. If it's, if it's not a long weekend, I'm gonna be very disappointed because I'm very excited. Pretty sure it's a long weekend. Look at our uh, apple tree here. All the blooms are falling down everywhere. Looks like there's some kind of romantic event happening out here. It's flower petals everywhere. Something going on that someone didn't tell me about? My trailer I'm taking today is just over there, that blue one sticking out on the left there. That's my trailer. Gotta hook up and go. No time to waste today, we got stuff to do. And we gotta do it quick because the weekend is waiting. Can't enjoy our weekend until we get our work done first. I wonder if they're looking for a driver for this truck here. 2025 is just sitting back here, and it's a good truck. I don't know if it's just a spare or if they need to fill fill it. If you if you want to drive it, give them a call here and see if they're looking for another city driver. They have a truck here available. I don't know what they need to do with it. I need to go in there and talk to Max and see what our uh, our current needs are. We're always looking for drivers though, especially over the highway company and owner operator deck van division we've got a whole bunch going on here and we haul lots of cool stuff all right let's get going here let's check the oil no time to waste today hi who was messing with my truck Someone was here. That one's open too. Who's messing with my truck? And why didn't you latch the hood back up? Maybe they're just messing with me. Said I'll sit here wondering what's going on. <laughs> or did they work on my air conditioning? No, it's still the same. Yeah, air conditioning still won't be working until they replace this thing up front here. The uh, AC is not working. Not that I need it today. It's kind of a chilly day. Let's check the oil here. Actually, let's get gloves on. What am I doing? Some gloves on. Get that started up there. Just want to get my computer booted up, booting up. There we go. Always takes a couple of minutes to get that. Uh, go in there. Da, da. Mm -hmm. Looks good to me. Yeah, we're still good. So I don't know why this was open. I bet you anything they're just messing with me. The guys here. The guys probably... Uh, they know I check my oil every morning, and I bet you they came here and unlatched my hood this morning just so that they can watch my video later on and laugh at me trying to figure out what's going on. And they're like, ah, ha, ha, he doesn't know it was me. Good one, guys. Good one. <laughs> that is kind of funny, but I got you. My computer booted up yet? All right. Let's get the truck running, get her warmed up. I'm not crazy. They were looking at it. He came and caught me before I left. There it goes. We're taking 2025 today. I'm very excited about this because they're bringing it in to do the air conditioning. Mm. That's awesome. So we're loading up into 2025 and uh, we're gonna rush up. Gotta go to Arburg again. They got more stuff for us. So 
this truck is ready to go. I've got a snipe bar, good. All right, 2025. Me and you today, all day. How much fuel do we got? Oh, that fuel gauge is not working that well. Got about three quarter tank there. Plenty, right on. Okay, let's go get our uh, trailer, shall we? All right, where's this again? This engine runs really smooth and really great in this truck. This is actually a very nice truck. It's got a Cat C15 in it. I believe it's a twin turbo. Don't quote me on that though, because I haven't confirmed that yet, but I'm just judging on the way it sounds on the highway. Sure, sure sounds like a twin turbo. It's a very powerful engine. You know, but I like my truck a little bit better. Mostly because it's got a functional back window, and when you're driving in the city and in tight spots, that comes in very handy. Oh, construction season. There are only two seasons for truck drivers in Manitoba. Those are winter and construction season. And we're just getting going on the construction seasons. I, I actually like this one better. Anything that doesn't involve snow is my favorite. As long as they're making it better. Sometimes they just, it seems like they just sit out here for a while and mess around and then leave and then it's worse than when they got here. It's worse than before they started. But it looks like they're doing a pretty good job here. This isn't asphalt that they got here, this is concrete. Serious stuff. All right, back to our 100 kilometers an hour. There's so many gauges on this truck, it's nuts. There's a separate fuel gauge for my left fuel tank and my right fuel tank. Except it looks like the right fuel tank gauge doesn't work. So we're just going off the left fuel tank. They're connected, so if the left says half a tank, we got half a tank in the other one too. We got a main trans oil temperature gauge. We got a, a pyrometer gauge, a fuel filter gauge, which is very handy in the winter time. It'll tell you if you're, uh, if your fuel's gelling before your truck even stalls, I'll tell you if the fuel filter's uh, getting plugged up. Anything and everything, there's a gauge for everything in here. The only thing about this truck that's not as good as the other truck, my truck that I drive all the time, is that it doesn't heat as well. It doesn't heat as well and it doesn't, uh, I was gonna say it doesn't cool as well either, but mine didn't cool at all until now. I don't know if they'll be done with it now or not. We're just on our way back. But the next time we get into that truck, we will have functioning air conditioning. Living the good life, man. Air conditioning. Which is good because this summer is probably going to be very hot. It's warmed up quite a bit. That's nice. All right, so this is our favorite intersection. Let's see if 2025 can get us across this. This truck's got a much better motor, so I'm guessing it shouldn't be a problem. There's one of our trucks on the uh, off-ramp over there. So he's headed onto the west perimeter. He's headed out probably to uh, out west in Canada somewhere. Okay, so it's clear that way, it's not clear this way. What's the time right now? It's two o'clock on a Friday, it shouldn't be too bad. We should be able to get across here. Still got cars coming that way, now we got more cars coming from there. And I can't just go across this lane of traffic and stop there because then I'm blocking this whole lane with my trailer. Oh, okay, okay, that's, he's on the perimeter. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, and there's no space here now. Let's 
open up that window there so you can see a little better. There we go. So yeah, you can tell it's Friday. It's definitely heavier traffic than any other day of the week. It is a long weekend, but uh, I don't think people are going to be going very far from home this weekend. Okay, after that gray car over there, that is, okay, after that car right there, and nope, now there's people coming from here. After this green truck, maybe? No, and then there's people coming from there. Where is he going? Okay, so after that truck with the trailer, we'll pick up with the trailer and after this car here. You guys ready? We're about to send it. There we go. Here we go. Hang on. We're gonna send it. Turbo scream. Yes. That's our victory scream. We're getting across that intersection. Oh, sounds nice, doesn't it? There she is, there she was. And there's my truck, out of the shop. It only took him a day. I'm gonna go over there and see what's going on with that. Let's go and see. I bet you anything it'll have a new condenser up at the front. Slowly, piece by piece, we're piecing this girl together. Yep. You see that? Got a brand new condenser in the front there. I am calling it the right part, right? That is the condenser. See a rock had gone through here? And through that, they put a nice new one in there now. So... The AC should be working. We're gonna vacuum this thing out. Alright, let's uh... Start her up. I gotta put her in my spot anyway. Oh, there you are. There you are. Did you miss me today? I missed you. Let's just go put it in my spot right away first. Whoa! They adjusted my clutch. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> Good to know. Oh yeah, that's that's grabby now. That's right, they told me they were going to adjust my clutch for me. Did they ever? Yikes. I didn't realize how much that needed to be done already. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's like getting used to driving a whole new truck again. Got like a whole new clutch. <laughs> That's going to take some getting used to. <laughs> oh, 
this one turns so much sharper than 2025. There we go, there we go. Put you in your rightful spot for the long weekend. Okay, so the AC should work now, right? Crank her up, AC. Show me what you got. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's nice. That is nice. Oh, it's getting colder even. Yes. Oh yeah, there it is. It's even colder. Wow, it's like blowing ice through here. Nice! Nice! Can we turn that off because it's going to be kind of chilly in the morning when we get here on Monday, I'm sure. Thanks guys, I really appreciate that. That is going to make uh, this summer a lot more comfortable. That is awesome. Cool! Got my bull snot hat right here. That's where I left it. I left it in here today. I was looking for you. I take out my garbage here yet too. Yikes, what's going on on this? I gotta clean out the interior of this truck. It's never been clean since I've been in it yet since, because when I got into it, it was winter time. And I know I'm probably just making excuses, but I'm not trying to. Ugh. In winter time, it's very hard to keep the driver's area of the interior clean because you're in and out with your boots. I'm not gonna take my boots off every time when I'm in the city here getting in and out like dozens of times during the day. I, I just can't. So I've got to get a proper little boot tray in here, a floor mat that holds all the water and moisture and snow in place. But I still got to bring my shark vacuum here and uh, give it a good vacuum out and a good detail. I usually detail the, the dash and everything throughout the week so that it stays clean. But the floor, I've got to, I've got to show that some love next week for sure. But for now, it is almost the weekend. We just have to get through that gate over there. As soon as we get through that gate, the weekend, the long weekend has officially begun.